everybody, my name is Mary and welcome to my channel, Mary Making Crafts. It has been a while, so hello, how are you? Um, I have not been on here in quite some time because I have a newborn little girl. Uh, she is almost eight weeks old um, and she has been an absolute delight. Um, so without further ado, we will get into this painting. I just want to you know, throw a disclaimer out that, um, you know, if you have kids, you know this, she's napping in her crib right now, but that subject to change at a moment's notice. Anyway, um, <laughs> today I have a Diamond Art Club sneak peek for you. Um, this is an unboxing of a brand new Diamond Art Club kit that is coming out on Saturday, February 10th. And it is called Storytime Cats and Books by Bridget Ashwood. I love this artist. She does a lot with cats um, and a lot of like cool kind of mystical stuff. So I really like her, um, her style and this is really cute. I'm really excited. This one is a showstopper and the perfect one to come back to. Um, I am really excited to open this, but uh, this one has square drills. It is 65 centimeters by 65 centimeters or 25 and a half inches by 25 and a half inches. So it's a nice square shaped painting for you too. Um, just really cool. I'm really excited to get into this one and to give it a look. Um, I'm excited to see what that rendering looks like and to see all the goodies in the kit, of course. So let's take a look. Oh, if I can get that plastic off. There we go. So, opening this box up here, we have our usual, when we open it up, we have our toolkit in here. So I'll pull that out and we'll take a look at that here in just a second. And then we have our canvas and drills that are in this dust cover bag. And one more. There is also a small sticker in here. Now you can use this sticker for whatever you would like. Um, I tend to use mine on my boxes for storage so I can see it um, on the end of my box, but you can use it for whatever you like. Let's take a look at the contents of our toolkit and then we'll get into this bad boy. So first up in our toolkit, we have a bag of baggies and you can use this to kit up or kit down your diamond painting. Um, store your extra drills at the end, whatever you'd like to use that for. We also have our Diamond Art Club tray and stopper, and this uh, will keep the drills inside there for you so they don't spill out. We also have a pen and a squishy. Now, the pen and squishy will match, but you may get a different color from mine. There's some sparkle in the pen there. I love this one. I just, I feel like the, the dark purple just kind of lends itself so well to this painting. I'm kind of in love. So there we go. <laughs> this one is just a really gorgeous color. I'm obsessed. So um, to go on the end of your pen, you also get two multi-placers, a four and a seven, and you can uh, place multiple diamonds at a time, like so. So we've got those. We also have the Diamond Art Club Wax, two pads of that inside your little plastic container. And because this is a square kit, you also get a set of tweezers. Now these have a super pointy end on there, so I'd like to keep this on there so I don't poke myself, but these tweezers have come in handy so many different times for so many different things. But um, if you have a round uh, diamonds, like if your drills are round, you will not get the tweezers in your kit. So just something to keep note of. We also have a cover minder. Now this one, um, we have two magnets on the back. This one is just a little shell shape with some glitter, super cute. Um, so with the two magnets, you'll pull one off. You can pull your cover back and then stick the magnet underneath and it'll hold your cover for you while you're painting. And so I love, love cover minders. They're super helpful. And then we also have some washi tape. So washi tape can be used a couple of different ways. Um, this one's a really pretty, I love this one. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's a really pretty uh, black with some floral on there. And sometimes, you know, they say they don't pick the accessories to match the kit, but sometimes I feel like it's just too perfect. Anyway, so we have this washi tape. You can use it a couple different ways. You can use it to section off your painting um, or to cover the glue around the edges. I have a video on that if you 
want to see what that's all about. So I will link that right up here. So that is the contents of our toolkit. I'm going to clean this up and we'll take a look at what's inside that dust cover bag. Okay, let's take a look inside. I always start on the wrong side. <laughs> Pull that off of here. Uh, okay. I, I feel like I'm a little out of practice, y'all. It's been a while. <laughs> here we go. So we've got our canvas here. We'll take a look at that here in just a few minutes. But first, we have our insert. This just tells you uh, instructions on how to diamond paint um, the VIP Facebook group. Cool place to go to see what other people are doing in the community. We also have 20% off your first purchase through the app. Um, that's a great deal. Codes to go there. Um, also, I always make sure I let people know to join the rewards program for Diamond Art Club. It is super generous and I love it. So let's take a look. We also have um, a sticker sheet. So you have a logbook sticker with the title of the painting and the artist. This is Storytime Cats and Books by Bridget Ashwood. You can put your start and end date on here. We have a larger image. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. I mean, if you like cats, tea, books, this is just, it's too perfect. Are there cats on? I think there are actual cats on the curtains too. Are we seeing this, y'all? Are we seeing this? That's too cute. Anyway, <laughs> you also have individual stickers over here um, for kitting your painting up. Um, we also have some special drills that we can see just by the numerical codes. So, oh, we have some noises coming from the nursery. Um, <laughs> I'd have to go check on that and then we'll take a look at this later but um real quick I will let you know we've got some um we've got two AB drills here so that's Aurora Borealis and then down here we have some that start with a K and some that start with a Z I know the Z's are fairy dust I think the K's might be electro I can't remember y'all I'm terrible at this it's been too long anyway we'll take a look at those special drills though when we take a look at all of the colors that are in this bag that is so appropriately labeled for you. Yes, it is the Electro. So <laughs> these are a metallic drill and in Diamond Art Club world, we call them Electro Diamonds. So um, that is our K444 that we saw on the sticker sheet. But this is labeled for you if you decide to store your canvas and your drills separately, you can absolutely do that. And um, yeah, so we will take a look at all of the different colored drills in just a second and then we'll move on to the canvas. Okay, so fun fact, uh, it hasn't been, it's been just a second for you, but it hasn't been uh, just a second for me. Um, I am back a day later and I still haven't seen this canvas. I just laid it out here for you and um, put my life on pause to take care of the baby and life got in the way. And so here I am back on the next day. So I even have a different outfit on, um, check that. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, we're going to take a look at some drills here um, and take a look at all the different colors and the special drills, and then we'll take a look at the canvas. So to get us started, we have three bags of 3371, one bag of 317, and two bags of 3826. Three bags of 3834 two bags of 154 and two bags of 310. Two bags of 975. We've got those electros we were talking about earlier, the K444. We have three bags of 915 and one of 413. One bag of 939, 976, 300, 3857, 3861, 648. We have one bag of 117. This is our first AB drill. There's that iridescent coating on there. 451, 3041, 414, and 452. 318, 898, two bags of that. 3042, two bags of 938, one of 839, and 3799 got some smaller bags starting up and actually the rest of them are quite small. So we have 3072, 937, 3024, 333, 
We have our second AB, it's a white one there. 948, 336, 841, 433, and 434. 3746, 3803, 3818, 3350. We have Z739, that is one of our fairy dust, it's a cream color. 561, 823, 738, 304, and 951. Some even smaller bags. We have 913, 3761, 912, 6012, and 6011. Those are really special colors because they are not part of the DMC codes. Um, DMC is a special thread used for needlepoint, cross stitch, um, and that is the color system by which all of these numerical codes come from. And so fun fact, Diamond Art Club has some of their own because it's really lacking. The DMC is lacking in like purples and um, I believe some grays. So really cool that they kind of came up with some of their own colors. I love that. Anyway, we have 552, uh, 718, 208, 498, and 775. And our last strand of drills, we have 803, 827, 3855, 815, Z3766, there's our second fairy dust, and then 3731, 911, 301, 814, and finally 936. So there you have it. There is your entire color palette. Um, it's kind of feast or famine. It's interesting. We don't have like very few medium sized bags. So they're all kind of just large bags and small bags. So um, I, I believe, you know, obviously these are going to be some of your little detail pieces. And then um, a majority of this painting is kind of that dark browns and purples. And um, I really like the color palette. Uh, some of the deep purples in this are really pretty. Um, so I'm excited. I'm excited to see the render. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. I will pull out all of our special drills. We'll take a look at the canvas and then see where those special drills go on the canvas. Okay, are we ready? So <laughs> we have this beautiful, I always like to make sure I t I show this um, really nice velvety back and these surged and scalloped edges, which really help prevent um, any fraying on the edges of the canvas. We also have our Diamond Art Club guarantee. And really quick, I just wanna also mention that Diamond Art Club always makes sure that they fairly compensate artists for the use of their work. So everything through Diamond Art Club, you can be, you could rest assured that it is licensed artwork that they are using um, and they are not stealing this artwork from anyone, uh, making sure that, that artists are compensated. And I, I firmly believe in that. So are we ready? I'm ready. I'm excited. <laughs> Look how cute. Oh my goodness. I love this one so much from the teapots and cats on the curtains to the just adorable little kitties. I love this. Um, some really fun uh, purples and browns uh, back in those curtains in the back. They look so pretty. I love this. It is so sweet. Um, of course, on every canvas too, you've got your do what makes you sparkle way up there on the top. I kind of just have that cut off just so I can make sure I can get you as close to the artwork as possible. Um, and you can see this entire painting in the frame, which is awesome. Um, so we also have um, on the top left and bottom right, you have your uh, legend or your key. Uh, yeah, everything is here. It's gorgeous. I love this. Anyway, <laughs> I have pulled out all of our special drills. So I'm going to study this canvas for a hot sec, and then we'll take a look at where those special drills go. Y'all, I'm so excited to show you where these go specifically those metallic drills because it is so stinking cool I literally went oh, wow cool <laughs> when I saw it on the canvas so I'm excited to share that with you anyway um I'm gonna just go in the order that they appear on the legend uh starting here with our first a b which is 117 this is the symbol one on our canvas. Um, this is a lot of places where you see gray and I, a lot of these, they do this often where a lot of these special drills will kind of play off each other and kind of be clumped together. Um, and I definitely see that here. So these number ones are going to be a lot in your like teapot here, 
in um, the shadow down here of this book and in the book as well. Um, the book that's up there. And then it's also, I see it a little bit in uh, this cat here. I don't think, I don't think it's in the other cats that I can see. I could very well be missing some of these FYI as well because I'm not perfect and I don't see everything. Um, but yeah, so just a general idea. Um, and also this number one here is also in the moon up there. So we've got it in the teapot and in the moon primarily and then in some of the books and the, the little teacup down here as well. But um, same thing for this 141. Uh, this one is your white AB. But a lot of times this one accentuates where you would see light. Um, it is the white that's up there in the moon. I see it in the page of this book right here um, in the cat's tail. And then again, um, accentuating the like the spout of the tea kettle and up here on the top of the tea kettle. So it's it's in a lot of different places. I'll put it up with the moon. So that's where that one lives. Um, but the next one here, our Electro, the K444. This one is so stinky cool. I mean, it already looks really cool. But not only is this kind of wherever you see this brassy like color here in, um, it's lining like some of the, the book here, I believe. Let me double check that. My eyes are deceiving me. Yes, it is. It's lining some of the pages of the book here. I just noticed there's a little mouse right here. Too cute. Anyway, um, it's lining some of the pages of the book. Um, I believe a little bit on the candelabra. A lot of the, like the brassy details on the book uh, spines as well. But my favorite place where this is like, I can't help but be drawn to those curtains in the background. And these are strewn all throughout the, is that like filigree? Is that the word for that pattern? I think so. Um, but it's strewn all throughout the brassy colored pattern on the curtains. And I just think it's gonna look so stinking cool. Um, and like, it makes me want this one to be my next whip when I finally can diamond paint again, um, because this is so cool. I just think it's gonna look really cool with all those purples too. Like right now, of course, you're seeing this canvas, it's kind of muted, but once it sparkles, that's gonna be really, really, really neat. But I'm excited for that. I wanna see this done. <laughs> if anybody finishes it, please let me know um, because it's gonna be really awesome. Anyway, we have our Z739. This one's a fairy dust. It's got a little bit of glitter. Tough to see on the camera, but it's really pretty in person. Um, and this one is also, I'm like, can I remember where it is? I, I know it, it is in the moon. And then it also makes up like the bulk of the pages on this book right here where I, where I set it. So not a ton of it because it's a small bag. But then um, this blue one, actually when I saw this one, I kind of wondered in my head, but I didn't say it out loud and I should have. Um, because I wondered if this was going to, because this one's your fairy dust, see the glitter a little bit maybe. Um, I was wondering if this was going to make up the eyes of the cats. And I was right. It is going to make up the eyes of the cats. So um, we have it in the eyes of three of the kitties. This one has green eyes and a green bow. That is too adorable. Anyway, and it's also in this little crescent shape on the cat's like collar tag here. Um, and it also makes up the crescent shape on the top of this kitty, um, right there on the top of his tail. So it's kind of everywhere you see blue, but mainly the cat's eyes, which I think is really cool. Anyway, there you have it. <laughs> there are all of your special drills. Like I said, I'm super excited to see this one it completed. Um, mainly just because I, and nothing does it justice to like seeing it in person is, is definitely the way to go. <laughs> like I encourage anyone who's like on the fence about this one, definitely pick it up because it, it will be so fun. Um, I also really like, I'm a, I'm a color blocking person. I love to color block and I think this painting actually lends itself well to small sections um, where you're not changing a ton of colors in one spot. Um, and that, I think that's really nice. So like 
like down here, you're only gonna use a few colors and you've got nice rows of those colors. So yeah, that's my personal opinion. This was a nice like mix of, of not like not a ton of confetti, which I think is cool. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful. It's very beautiful. Let me know in the comments down below uh, if you are a cat lover, a book lover, or a tea lover, maybe by leaving me a little emoji down there, um, maybe of a cat or a moon or is there a tea kettle? I don't know if there's a tea emoji. Maybe a coffee emoji will do or a book emoji. Um, let me know if you're going to be picking up this canvas and what you think. I think it's really beautiful. Uh, again, this will be available on Diamond Art Club's website on Saturday morning. All the details will be down in the caption below. Um, but Saturday morning, February 10th, 2024. Uh, can't believe we're in 2024 already. Uh, still doesn't feel real. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, let me know what you think. And I had so much fun opening this kit and sharing it with you. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. I hope you have a fabulous day when you're watching this. And I will see you soon. Bye.